Let's get it. Yes, sir. What up, fam? It's your boy G Ridge. As you can see right here, I'm going to give you my versions of fried collard greens, okay? I don't clean these suckers off over and over and over. I got a little um, a mustard greens and turnip green mixed up in there also, okay? Y'all already know how we do it over here. Anyway, for the oil for the greens, we're going to use some bacon, all right? So I'm going to brown this bacon up real good for y'all, okay? And then, all the you know, the bacon is going to make its own grease. So we're going to take the bacon out. Once it's done nice and crispy, we're going to take it and put it to the side because we're going to put it back in there later. Okay, we're going to leave the oil in there, all right? We're going to take all the remnants, remnants out and leave the oil in there. Then we're going to go ahead and drop a few onions in there, stir around, make sure they're good and translucent, all right? We're going to cook those for like five minutes, okay? Then we're going to add the greens, and we're going to cook the greens in there, stir the greens in there, and we're going to season them with some salt, cayenne pepper, a little accent. You don't have to use accent. We use it over here, and there's the onions, okay? And, uh... And we're going to let that cook for like 25, between 25 and 35 minutes. You know what I'm saying? A little bit, a little above medium. Okay. So, you know, so it'll get all the good flavor in there. Get it good and get, get that good dark green color to it where it can, you know, where it's done all the way and you can and enjoy it. All right. So it'll be done through and through. Yes, sir. All right. So this is my version. We're getting ready to get started. It's nice, quick, and simple, easy. You see the ingredients I got. All I got is the bacon and the greens itself, some onions over here. And we ready to get to work, okay? So when it's heat up and we start cooking this, that's what we're going to do. So hold on tight. I'll be right back. All right, fam. Look at that. You see that? See how that bacon? Make sure you put enough of bacon in there. You see how I many that many pieces? It got like eight pieces. And look at the, the, the significant amount of bacon grease that's left in there, y'all, sir. All right. Yes, sir. That's going to be good. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to take them and I'm going to set them to the side and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break them up in little chunks and little pieces while they're sitting to the side. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and as you can see, I've added some uh, red bell pepper. So I'm going to mix them up in there too as well. These are going to be some good fried greens. I'm telling you, fam. So I'm going to sit this over here. All right. Yeah, so that's good and hot. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to throw some onions in here. That's third. Look at that. And all the red bell peppers. That's one That's one full red bell pepper cut up, fam. All right. I'm going to go with the wooden spoon now. Yes, sir. So we're going to cook this for like five minutes. Make sure it's good and sauteed real good. Some people like to add garlic to this. A uh, little sugar. No, I don't. we don't put that in our greens. So I'm going to do it my way. But you can do it however you want to. But this is how you... You can fry collard greens, and it's it, it gonna be good and seasoned and good and southern style. But it get that dark green color on it, yeah, sir. When they, as soon as you put them in your mouth, they melt in your. They, as soon as you put them in there, they gonna melt in your mouth, yeah, sir. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna cook this for like five minutes in this bacon grease, okay? Then we're gonna start. We're gonna come back after that and put some greens in there, and then we're gonna season the greens while they're in the pan, all right? And then. We're going to cook those for about 25, between 25 and 35 minutes, depending on how you like how you like them. You like them done all the way like we do down here? You know what I'm saying? Some people like to leave it a little crunchy a little bit. Nope, nope, nope. Not no, not no greens. We're going to cook them all the way through. Yes, sir. So hold on tight. I'll be right back. All right, fam. Look at that. They're good and cooked through. Okay, now we're going in. So I'm going to do a handful of greens. We might not be able to do all these and get all these in here, but we're going to show you how it's done, though. Yes, sir. These are cooked down as well. We might should be able to get most of these in here. As you can see, they're good and cleaned off. All right. So this is how you do it. That's like a nice and good handful. You just sprinkle a little salt. All right. You can use whatever kind of salt you want. Here's the cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper for that good southern, that good southern uh, flavor. Yes, sir. And this one we like to use a little accent. You don't have to use this, but I know a lot of you can't have MSG. All 
right. Okay. We're going to stir these around real good till they cook down. Then we're going to add some more. Okay. Oh man, that aroma smells good. And you're going to cook these, you're going to turn them down just a little bit and let them cook for like, like I say, up to like 35 minutes. Nice and juicy. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, it's family, that aroma. You see how it's cooking down? That's what I was talking about. That's how you fry some good old collard greens. Make sure you got enough oil in it. I like to use, you know, I use the regular vegetable oils when I'm using, you know, I'm cooking boiled greens and stuff with the meat in, with the meat and stuff in it. But when you're frying them, it's best to use some bacon grease. I don't know. It just do something to it, family. Look how it don't cook down, okay? So now we're going in with some more. We're going to make sure we get a full pan in here. Nice, nice and fried. All right, I think that's all I'm going to use. Okay, do the same thing. Not so much this time. All right, that's it. Pinch here and pinch there. Okay, so if I get these mixed up into the other ones, I'm going to put these bacon bits back in here. Okay, I might even add a little more, uh, uh, a little more bacon grease in here. I got some stored, and uh, oh, look at that! You might not even need it. They got to be good and juicy. That's what we want. Okay, so when I get these cooked down, I'm gonna add these. See, I broke these crumbs. I broke them up in little pieces. I'm gonna throw them back in there on the top. We're gonna put the lid on it and let them cook a little bit. All right, let them cook down some more. Then we're going to take the lid off of it. Stick with your boy. All right, fam. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> boy, look at him. Fam, I tasted some of them greens. I'm going to put some of this bacon back. Put this bacon back in here. I taste some of them greens, fam. Oh, we. <laughs> Man, y'all gonna love this recipe. Y'all gonna love it, y'all gonna love it, y'all gonna love it. Y'all okay, put that bacon back in there. Look at that, look how juicy that is. Uh-huh. Keep mixing it up. We're gonna let this cook for another 20 minutes, something like that there. And this thing gonna be ready. Look at that. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and take the lid off of it. And that's how you fry it the rest of the way. Yep, without that lid on it. Because you want to get the greens brown, you want to get like like burn them just a little bit, not not with it totally black, but we want to fry them a little bit. They are ready to go, family. This is so this looks so good and they taste good. Season it just like I season it now. Like I say, you don't have to use the accent or what have you, or the cayenne pepper as long as you put enough salt and flavor in it. All right. Now you know did that part. So what I'm gonna do now, for the last uh, 12 minutes on here, I'm gonna get, get my, let me find my cracked peppercorn and I'm gonna sprinkle some of that black peppercorn up in that thing, yes sir. All right, so here we go with the black peppercorn. Yes sir. It's good to add this on top. A little bit more flavor, a little, little spicy flavor. I know we got a little cayenne in there, but this is a little different. Oh yeah. Man, look at that. I'm not playing with y'all family. Oh. That's a thing of beauty. Nice and easy. And y'all can make it. You sit that there. Mm, 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 mm. be back and all right fam there it is 
It's just similar. Look at that. Oh, wow. Let me see. Can I turn this over for you? You see that there? Yes, yeah, sir. That's good and done right there, family. Ooh. Look how, the, look how everything don't cook down and cook together. Ooh, wee. It's got that little score. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. It's got that little score look on the bottom. But it good and fry everything. Look at that, fam. Melt in your mouth, not in your hand. So I hope you love this recipe, fam. It's, as you can see, it's nice and easy. Yes, sir. Good old fried collard greens. Now, here's my finished plate. And there it is, fam. That's my finished plate. Some good old seasoned spicy baked chicken. And last but not least, some fried collard greens. Yes, sir. Look at that, fam. We're going in. Now, that's a thing of beauty. Yes, sir. Nice and simple. Yes, sir. Where the bacon at in there? Put some bacon, some bacon up in this thing. Hold on, fam. Hold on, fam. Yes, sir. Get some of that bacon around that thing. Love y'all to life, fam. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. G Rich out. Another one in your mind.